So in our conversations in the last couple weeks with me transitioning from Twitch after so many years to YouTube, it has sparked up quite the interest and conversation with a lot of you fellow streamers out there. Over the last two weeks, I've had so many conversations with you guys that want to make the switch from Twitch, but you just don't know where to begin. And it can be kind of stressful, right? Like the thought of just redoing everything, plus how does YouTube even work? Don't worry, it isn't that hard. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can start streaming on YouTube. So getting into this, the main difference between YouTube and Twitch is you have to understand that you are setting up each live stream as an individual live stream in itself. Kind of like when you upload a video on YouTube, you're creating a, a specific video that's gonna have its own link that you promote out there. It's kind of confusing at first because on Twitch, you're using your whole profile setup as your streaming device, as your streaming URL, as your streaming link. As to where on YouTube, you create that stream before you go live. Other than that, aside from the fact that they look different, everything else is pretty much the same. So before you even start, stream software. What software should you use for streaming on YouTube? Whatever software that you were comfortable with when you were streaming on Twitch. Literally all works the same. I personally use OBS Studio, which is what I prefer. I would suggest to you guys and gals for performance to also use OBS Studio, but to each their own. Again, the whole point is if you use Streamlabs OBS, if you use OBS, if you use any other things out there, it's initially the same thing as Twitch. When you're setting up a live stream, you have an option for a stream key. You copy that, you go to your settings in OBS, you click YouTube, and you put that stream key in there. And you're set up to stream on YouTube, just like that. Now to dive into the more intricate, confusing part, setting up a YouTube live stream on the back end. So to set up a stream on YouTube, you go in the upper right hand corner, you click the create button, you create a live stream. The first time you open this up, it's going to bring you through a series of setups. The big thing that you want to focus on is a few tabs on the left hand side. Now you could do the manage tab, which is going to allow you to pre-prepare for a live stream. So if you want to let your viewers know of an up and coming event that's going to go down, that's where you go to get ready for something new in the future. For example, you're a Fortnite streamer and you know that there's a Fortnite event coming out tomorrow and you're going to be live for it. You can set that live stream right now for tomorrow and people can have alerts turned on for that specific stream so they are ready to go in the morning when everything goes live. I don't personally use the manage tab too much. I don't like make some like pre-planned stuff as of right now. So I typically just go to the live stream tab where I can just create my live stream for the day and build everything up. And this is the important thing with YouTube. This is what makes streaming here so special when you're editing a live stream. Whether you're making one for the future or right now, having the opportunity to set up a title, thumbnail, tags, a description, to be able to utilize any forms that YouTube has to offer and being able to search your content. So when you're setting up a stream and you go to the edit tab and it brings all the information down for the title, the thumbnail, the description, I can't express enough how important that is to the growth of your stream. This is where you benefit from the short-term and long-term growth that YouTube has to offer. So if you're somebody that's growing and you're going to leave your live streams up to where people can discover them over time. This is where you have the opportunity for people to actually find your current live stream or the streams that you previously streamed. I'm not gonna go in depth today on how you title and make your stream more flashy. I actually have a YouTube video that I just put out like two weeks ago talking about this whole thing, the whole YouTube algorithm. Be sure to check that link in the description to figure that out. But I just wanted to point out that this is where you make your live stream special to you. This is where you have the discoverability options that YouTube brings to the table. All right, software set up. Now you're getting a live stream going. You're probably gonna want a chat bot right? So that way people can't come in and just spam stuff. You want to get some new alerts and commands going. Guess what? Chatbots are integratable just like Twitch. So you can use your Nightbot, you can use your stream elements, whatever is comfortable for you. All you have to do is make sure you're logged into whatever website that you're using Nightbot or, or stream elements through your YouTube channel and then add your chatbot 
to the list of moderators on YouTube. I personally, with my transition, wanted to kind of start fresh with stream elements, like everything. So I created a new account to, to add to YouTube, but I'm pretty sure you can just integrate all of your old commands and whatnot from your Twitch to your YouTube. And in comparison to that, that's where alerts come into play as well. And it is the same thing. Works just like Twitch and to save you some time, whatever website you're using for your alerts, while you're logged into your account, go to connect your new YouTube channel to that account, adjust some of your new YouTube alerts, and you'll be able to use the same link for everything. Again, for me, I wanted to start fresh on this. I've had years of like cluttered me adding alerts, removing stuff here and there on, on Twitch. And it was just so confusing what I had connected to my account. So I started fresh, but overall these websites make everything super simple and easy to convert from one platform to another. Side note too, a lot of tutorials on how you can do this stuff on YouTube. So if you're switching from maybe like stream elements to, to slobs or something, or you wanna create something new, just Search it up on YouTube or Google, forehead. Okay, big thing. What to do when your YouTube stream is done. Now, I'm still trying to figure out everything about this. YouTube is just so different from Twitch in terms of like how VODs are because I've had a couple VODs or, or previous streams start to do really well after I'd already streamed. Like the stream itself didn't do the best. Like I didn't get a large amount of viewers, but due to the tagging, titling and thumbnail, the recording of the stream stayed on my channel publicly and it brought in a whole bunch of new viewers, which is a big plus for me, right? The only downside to letting your stream just stay up publicly on your channel is over time, it can lower your click-through rate. And if you guys check out the video that I just mentioned about seeing how you can do titles and thumbnails and whatnot, click-through rate is a very important average on your channel to determine if YouTube is gonna shove your content out there. But what I personally suggest and what I have been doing is because I'm not a YouTube partner yet on my streaming channel, I have just been letting those videos stay public. So they can grow over time. I can get those stats of watch time to allow my channel to grow and it has helped immensely. Now the big thing a lot of people do with live streams after they're done, they unlist their live stream and create a live stream playlist to have on their homepage. So that way fans can go back and watch previous live streams if they missed it, how to work that day or something. YouTube even offers a unlist this video after the live stream is over option. The benefit of this is you still get traffic traffic from those videos over a period of time and you still do get some stats that count towards your channel. The downside I believe is the views itself won't actually count towards your channel, but you can still monetize them. You can still grow off of them. People can watch them. So it is helpful. Overall, my biggest suggestion is if you're a noob to YouTube, I would just say leave your live streams public for now. So that way they can help you grow over a period of time. And then when you hit YouTube partner, that's where I would suggest to start structuralizing and creating a playlist and letting all those live streams go unlisted so that way you can help the overall channel growth. And that is all you need to know to get into YouTube live streaming. It really isn't that hard. A lot of times we overthink these things. It can be scary putting a lot of time and effort into a platform and then changing to another platform. So we kind of create that that like fear in our heads, like, oh my God, there's no way I can figure this out. Trust me when I say, if my dumb ass can figure all this out, so can you guys. I do wanna end off on this too, to just remind everybody, cause I don't wanna create any like false promises. YouTube is a really good tool right now. And that's why I am trying to utilize that tool. I am trying to utilize the the options that YouTube currently has over Twitch to naturally grow my content so that way I can grow my content. That doesn't necessarily mean that because I switch from Twitch to YouTube, it's a get rich quick scheme. Just because you haven't made it on Twitch and you think that YouTube is this easy new place where you can just benefit because of all the perks that I talked about doesn't mean that it's going to work out for you right away. I know that there are going to be a lot of people watching these videos. They're going to get pumped. They're going to be like, yes, I, I'll, I'll get successful from this. This will be my thing. And then they'll come to YouTube and they'll stream five streams and their numbers won't compare to what their Twitch was or, or maybe it won't be what they expected. And they'll be like, ah, this is all bullshit. With anything in life, time, dedication, and consistency is going to be 
what gets the end result. I'm just telling you, you're not going to blow up on YouTube right away. So be ready to still work for stuff. All right, gang, likes, comments, subscribe, turn on those notifications. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace. By the way, guys, let me know if uh, if this helped in any way, shape, or form in the comments down below too.